to understand how differential manometer works, you must understand the concept of hydrostatic pressure. So let's get into it first. Consider a U-shaped tube filled with a blue liquid. We are all surrounded by an air everywhere. So atmospheric pressure acts on every object everywhere. Let us find the pressure on top layer of fluid indicated by two black dots. The pressure will be same and both will be equal to atmospheric pressure. Okay, now we know the pressure at upper layer of fluid, but what about the bottom layer? What is the pressure on two red dots? It seems the pressure would be greater than atmospheric pressure due to additional weight of the fluid. So the pressure is atmospheric pressure plus the fluid pressure on that additional height. Where rho is density of that fluid. The same principle applies to the right side of the tube. So the pressure at both sides is equal to each other. Now let's calculate the pressure at these different red points. P1 equals P2. They are at atmospheric pressure. P3 equals P4 and both have the same height H1. The same thing is for P5 and P6. Under hydrostatic, the pressure is the same at all points on a horizontal plane in a given fluid regardless of geometry, provided that the points are interconnected by the same fluid. Now, what about the pressure in these multilayer fluid? Is P1 equals P2? It seems the fluid is not continuous between point 1 and 2. So the pressure won't be equal. For them to be equal, the points must lie on the same horizontal plane and must be interconnected by the same fluid. Again, is P3 equals P4? Of course they are. It is because they are connected by the same fluid. Now with this knowledge we can easily jump from one fluid column to the next in manometers without worrying about pressure change as long as we stay in the same continuous fluid. A differential manometer is used to determine the difference in pressure between two points in a closed fluid system. It measures the difference in static pressure between points A and D in the pipe assembly containing a liquid that is flowing through it. When fluid such as air enters the tube, then there is pressure difference between point A and D. The air also flows on pipe AB and DC, which creates pressure on blue liquid. Notice how the blue liquid shifts due to pressure difference between the air. Notice the pressure at point B is equal to pressure at point E, because the fluid is continuous and pressure stays same in horizontal direction. Pressure at point B is pressure at point A plus the static air pressure at height HAB, where rho is density of air. Similarly, pressure at E is air pressure at D plus static air pressure of height HCD plus static pressure height of blue liquid HBC, where rho 1 is density of blue liquid. Now, combining these two pressure equations and solving them we will get the final equation. This result represents the difference in either the absolute or the gauge pressures between points A and D. Look, by measuring the height of the column HBC or HCE of liquid, we can easily get pressure difference. Please subscribe to my channel for more animation videos. The more you see, the better you understand.